anything happening in this place, Mr. President? There's an election for the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? Yes, absolutely. Well then, there you go. An election is what separates a president like myself from a monarch like my father. <laughs> uh, your father was a monarch, you mean like the butterfly? How much radiation have you been exposed to? Not the butterfly, you moron. <laughs> I meant the kind of leader that holds his office for life. <laughs> My father inherited his political power from birth and renamed this great nation the Kingdom of Tom. Although I also inherited my political power from my father when I took over, I formed a republic so the people may elect their leader. Uh, could I help with the election, Mr. President? All right, sure, why not? The people have a tendency to wait until the last minute to vote, but I'd like just to get it over with. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today, so I cinch the victory. Not that I have anything to worry about. The people know who their leader is in this republic. Uh-huh. Tell me more about the republic, Mr. President. The Department of Tourism usually handles all questions for outsiders. Make it quick. So you're in charge here, Mr. President? That's right. As president, I am head of the Department of Tourist Rights, the Office of Immigrant Affairs, and the Bureau of Dave-like Activities. <laughs> My proudest duty, second to the presidency, is Commander and Chief of the Army of Dave, the most ruthless military in the wasteland. I'd be interested in learning more about you, Mr. President. Years ago, I freed these poor people from the wrath of Tom, former monarch of the kingdom of Tom. Uh -huh. Afterwards, the people naturally elected me as their president, and the Republic of Dave was formed. Any future plans for the Republic, Mr. President? Well, the Republic of Dave is the only true sovereign nation in the wasteland. The only really civilized place left in the world. Uh -huh. One day... All Wastelanders will be citizens in the Republic and know the greatness of their president. Uh -huh. That's all. Well, good for you then. Uh, did you already vote, Mr. President? Of course I voted. I was the first to vote. Now I'm just waiting for the rest of the votes to come in. Um... I'd like to discuss the election with you. The election is still going on. What do you want to know? Who's eligible to vote? That would be Bob, Shauna, Jessica, Rosie, and myself. In the Republic, if you're old enough to carry a weapon, you're old enough to vote. Rosie and Jessica are usually here in the capital. Bob usually hangs out outside near the Brahmin pen. Shauna runs the Museum of Dave, so you can find her there. Uh, who's running in the election? Nobody except me. Why would the people need anyone else but Dave? I give them all that they ask for. <laughs> What's the point in voting then, moron? I'd like to throw my hat into the ring and run for the presidency. I'm sorry, but the president must be a citizen of the Republic to run for office. So you do not qualify. Radio. Anything else? Mr. President, do you know a ghoul named Mr. Crowley? There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Before the people elected me president, I worked with a mercenary named Mr. Crowley. We were part of an expedition to Fort Constantine. What happened in the fort, Mr. President? Two of us died, including Crowley. The rest achieved the mission goals and were paid. Crowley is alive, Mr. President. I'm supposed to bring him the key. Actually, let's go with this. Uh, how did Mr. Crowley die, Mr. President? When the feral ghouls killed Terra, 
Dukov realized that he would get more of the commission. He decided to kill off the rest of us, too. He locked Crowley into a room with feral ghouls, and that was the last we saw of him. Strayer and I didn't trust Dukov after that. The three of us finished the mission together, but with guns drawn. Crowley is alive, Mr. President, and I'm supposed to bring him the key. Alive? I always wondered. He was locked in with a bunch of feral ghouls. They won't attack ghouls, you see. The key is part of the Republic of Dave treasury. I couldn't possibly part with it. Mr. President, what's so special about this key? You need all the keys to get through Fort Constantine. With only one key, there's no point in my going back. Yes, at some point I do plan to go to Fort Constantine. I know that question is raised, but uh, yes, I do plan to at a certain point, but later. Um, a gift of the key would be a strategic diplomatic move, Mr. President. Hmm. Of course it would. I knew that. I was just testing you to see if you would realize it. Uh -huh. Here, take the key. It is a gift from the Republic of Dave to the Wasteland. Thank you. Gotta go. Bye-bye. Very well. Uh-huh. Now you leave. Uh-huh. And we'll go get a stealth boy on. Stealth boy. And we'll make a permanent save just in case this does not work. That. Old Painless is a unique, um, a unique version of the uh, hunting rifle, which will be nice to have. I don't really care about what's in there. I just wanted the old Painless. Hi there, honey. Have you spoken to Dave? I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Well, welcome, stranger. Just be mindful of the children. I'd like to know more about the Republic. Sure, honey. But don't make it too long, or Dave will start wondering why we're talking. Tell me more about this Dave guy. Dave is a good man. He looks after all the children and makes sure they have plenty to do. He's bought a lot of toys, not that he'd admit it. He has our Shauna teach classes to the younger ones. She's over at the Museum of Dave to the west of the Republic. What can you tell me about yourself? Not much to say, really. I'm Dave's wife, or first wife, I guess. I've lived here for mm, many years now. You're Dave's first wife, right? He has two? Well, yes. Dave and I were married when he was wandering the wasteland, before inheriting the Republic from his father, Tom. After Ralph was born, Dave said that the President of the Republic needed to repopulate the Wasteland. So, now we have a second wife. Huh. What's your take on the Republic? We have plenty of food and water here, and the compound is fairly safe. I'm glad the children can be raised here, away from the Wasteland. I'd like to see more trading done with the local caravans, but Dave's afraid their outside influence could weaken the Republic. That's all. Sure, honey. I'd like to discuss the election with you. Election time is always exciting around here. Who's running in the election? Only Dave. He's the only person who ever runs. I'd like to throw my hat into the ring. Um, did Dave say you could do that? Have you considered running for the presidency? Believe it or not, I used to lead a group bigger than this one on an old caravan route. I did it for years, and we did pretty well for ourselves. But what am I talking about? Running against Dave would be like betraying him. You could lead the Republic into a new era, the democracy of Rosie. You're right! Dave's just been pushing me around. It's time for a change. 
<laughs> now she's gonna go vote for herself, put her name in the ring. Uh, yeah, that sh it's gonna make an interesting reaction with Dave. Well, when he finds out when he does the voting, that counts the votes or whatever. You should go vote if you haven't. You're right. I'll go right now. Voting box is right over there, by the way. Behind that curtain or whatever. Hopefully this Fingers works. Fingers crossed. Good. Looks like she must have voted. Bob and Shauna outside. One or both of them might not uh, be able to make it into vote. They might glitch out and that might cause problems. Hello, who are you, Jessica? You're right there. Dave Go says vote. you're okay? Fine. I'd like to know more about the Republic. You should talk to Dave, but okay. You're Dave's second wife? First wife. Rosie is the second wife, since she's the oldest and not good for anything anymore. That's great. Tell me about this Dave guy. That's President Dave to you, Wastelander. Call him by his full name, or we'll shoot you. He takes care of all of us, even that selfish Rosie and her brats. My children will be a lot nicer than hers. That's great. Tell me about yourself. All I have to say is Dave is my husband. Mine. Do you understand? I don't care what Rosie has to say about it. Just because Rosie used to be this big leader out in the wasteland, she thinks she's better than me. She even ordered Dave around once. That's great. What's your take on the Republic? Dave is a great leader. He's going to bring civilization back to the wasteland. One day, they'll say it all started here. Uh, I'd like to discuss the election. I'll help you if I can. You know, Rosie is running for president now. Poor girl doesn't stand much of a chance, does she? I'd like to throw my hat in the ring. Mm, I don't think you can do that. You'd better ask Dave. Have you considered running? No way. You'd have to be crazy to run against him. Apparently Rosie's crazy then. I think I get the idea. Anything else? Go vote now. I guess you're right. I'll go right now. All done. Dave's the best. Good. We got them. Now there's two more. Shauna and Bob. Bob. Oh, Bobby boy. Can I get in here? Why, yes, I can. And yes, I will. Bob, where are you? Bob. Probably inside somewhere, sleeping. Can we get in here? No, of course not. Can we get in here? No, of course not. Hello, Hi. person. It makes me feel safer knowing you're around. That's nice. I'd like to know more about the Republic. Um, okay. As long as President Daddy says it's all right. You have two mommies? That's what President Daddy says, but I only remember having one mommy before. Tell me about this Dave guy. Daddy? He's not so bad. Shauna says he's the most important man to ever walk the wastes. I don't know about that. The wastes are awfully big. What have you been up to? I like to play with the toys in the museum, but Sean always yelled at me. What's your take? Everyone says that Daddy is the best man ever, ever. I don't know, but that's what Shauna says, so I guess it's true. Bye. Uh-huh. Bye. That's what Dave always says. Bob. Bobby boy. Bob, get your blankety blank blank out here. 